Hey, what's going on, y'all? So today, I'm going to uh, go over maintenance box and how to change it out if you're running a printer with chipless firmware or just how to change a maintenance box out altogether. Um, basically, what happens is every time you do a head cleaning, uh, the ink that's used to clean the head needs somewhere to go, so it goes into a maintenance box. Um, and those can be found uh, on the back of your printer. And what will happen is it will get to a point where it's uh, going to warn you that it's getting uh, near the end of its life, and then eventually it's gonna stop printing. Um, when it stops printing, it won't print again until it has an empty maintenance box in the printer. Um, so what'll happen is you would just, it would stop printing, you would come back here, and this is a 3640. So you remove this back cover here and remove your maintenance box. As you can see, it gets uh, filled up with ink and those pads are what keeps it uh, from just having just raw ink thrown around in the box. Those pads kind of absorb it. So um, that's what those do. And you uh, replace it and put another one in there. And the printer detected is new. And you'll be good to go. Um, here it is on a 7710 that's running chipless firmware. Um, you would just uh, move it back here. This is a 7710, so you move that big cover down, and then you pull your maintenance box. This is a new one. Um, it had gotten full because, like I said, I'm running chipless firmware, and I neglected it. So what happens is this is the old maintenance box. It fills up with ink to the point where it starts to overflow. And it'll start to flow down into the printer. So I had to get out there and clean it up and everything like that. But you always want to make sure, like when you're doing your weekly maintenance on your printers, if you're running chipless firmware. So when you're running your weekly maintenance to change out ink or, I'm sorry, fill ink or things like that, give your maintenance box a look and make sure it's not filling up with ink. And if it is, you need to go ahead and get a new one as soon as possible or it'll start to drip into your, into your printer. What I'm going to do is get a couple of bags and just throw this whole thing away and uh, rock with the new one that I put in here. Um, on the third generation print, uh, all-in-one printers, uh, these uh, maintenance boxes sit behind a cover. So this is your 4730, your 4734s, um, 4733s, 4730, yeah, 4730, 32s, and 34s. They'll all have a maintenance box back here, some of the CF series as well. Um, and here's an EcoTank printer. The EcoTank printer uses one too. Um, this is the 2700. Now, there is a 2760 EcoTank that uses an ink pad instead of a maintenance box. So with an ink pad, it's like this, but it's permanent and it sits at the bottom along the bottom of the printer. And as you do head cleanings on it, it just dumps it onto that pad inside of the printer. And once it's filled, the printer doesn't work anymore. So all y'all with the 2760s and things like that, just be aware that one day your printer is gonna stop printing. And the only way to get it to print again is to have that pad changed out by a service center if it happens while you're still on the warranty within that first year, they'll switch it out. But if not, they'll probably persuade you to buy another printer because it's usually a lot more expensive for them to replace it than it is to, um, to buy another printer. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not saying don't get the 2760, but if you can just find you something with a maintenance box. Cause when this stops printing and tells me that my maintenance box is full, I just pull it out put another one in and you're good to go. So something to keep in mind if you're running the 2760s, uh, the EcoTank 2760s or any other printer that has an ink pad instead of an actual waste box or maintenance box. Something to keep in mind. So they do make chip resetters um, for maintenance boxes. They work just like the chip resetters for the, um, the, the ink cartridges. Um, on this, I think I've already reset it though. On this uh, 4734, I already took it out. So it's gonna tell me that it's full because I've already reset it. So if I go to my ink levels here, 
you'll see that this little gray bar down here, that's your maintenance box, remaining capacity. When it's all the way full and gray like that, that means that it's, it's empty. When it starts to move, it'll move from this to the right to the left. So it'll be going this way. So you'll start to see it look white this way. And that means it's getting empty. Oh, I'm sorry, getting full. And uh, when it gets down, you have to swap it out. In my case, since I'm doing some other stuff, I have a chip resetter so that it can actually reset the chip. Should turn red and then green. Oh, there it is. So it'll turn red and green. And even if this was uh, full, I could hit that chip resetter and when it turns green like that, it'll make sure that it's uh, reading empty on the printer. So I'll be able to print again without, without swapping it out all the way. So we'll go there. And it's empty. So just something to keep in mind. Keep your maintenance, keep an eye on your maintenance boxes. Uh, like I said, you don't want to have a disaster like I had where there's ink all over the place. So keep in mind, like, thumbs up, or whatever. Thank you. Good day.